knows me knows that I love watermelon. If Oakley, she doesn't like watermelon. I'm gonna be so disappointed. Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Maddie Johnston and if you are not new, hi, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a first and second trimester recap. I have not filmed anything from my first and second trimester, so I thought I might as well since today I am officially in my third trimester. I am going to put up a little timestamp so you guys can skip to whatever part you want to watch most. But yeah, let's get into the video. So I am 28 weeks today, so I'm officially in my third trimester. This is going by so incredibly fast. I don't understand how like how I'm already in my third trimester <laughs> and I am due August 14th. It literally seems so far away but it feels like it will be here in like two seconds. Let me show you guys a little belly update. So this is my 28 week belly. I got this dress from Boohoo in their maternity section and then this uh, long sleeve is also from Boohoo if anybody is interested. So how I got pregnant, I don't know if I've ever really talked about this on my channel, but I was on birth control at the time I got pregnant. I was on antibiotics for a UTI and nobody told me that antibiotics make your birth control stop working. So I did have some early pregnancy symptoms that I thought like were a little sus because I just, I don't know, I had a feeling. But a week after conception, I had a dream that I was having a baby and I just like knew that that was my baby. Like it was just so weird. I've never had a dream like that before. That same day, my grandma said that I just looked drained and that I had no life in me and that I was acting weird. I also around that time was just extremely nauseous for no reason. I remember I was at my friend's house and she made me mac and cheese and I literally could not finish the mac and cheese because it was making me nauseous and like that was weird because I love mac and cheese. <laughs> and then on Thanksgiving I started spotting which was like implantation bleeding and I joked around with my friends that I should go get a test. Turns out I was right. <laughs> And then the weirdest part was that my it wasn't my boobs that were hurting, it was my nipples that were hurting so, so incredibly bad and they itched so bad. It was just so weird because usually when I'm PMSing and I'm about to get my period, it's my boobs that hurt, never my nipples. So I've never experienced that before, but that actually was what made me go get a pregnancy test. So me and my friend went to go get a pregnancy test and I took it and it was negative. And then two, literally two days later, something told me to take another one. And so I took it and I hopped in the shower because I had to get ready for school. And I, <laughs> I remember I was washing my hair and I went to look at the test and it said pregnant. And I literally just like fell to the ground, it called my best friend. I was like, I was freaking out and I had to be at school in 10 minutes. That same day I went to Planned Parenthood to take another pregnancy test to have like them check and they confirmed that I was pregnant. And yeah, that's how I found out. But some symptoms that I had in my first trimester, obviously my nipples were hurting. They were itching so freaking bad. I was exhausted 24 seven, no matter how much sleep I would get. I would literally sleep 13 hours and then I would still wake up so incredibly tired. At that time, I was also going to school for 10 hours a day. So I, I just like could not, could not do that. I was also incredibly nauseous all day long but I didn't really throw up I won't I only threw up like a few times and that was it the only thing that would make me not nauseous was if I ate like I was stuffing my face my first trimester I know that's not the case for a lot of people but that was the only way to keep me from being nauseous I did have cramps but that's normal I also have endometriosis so I have cramps like 24 7 so it was nothing new to me. I was also extremely bloated and I would wake up some mornings and my legs would be so so sore that I couldn't even walk down the stairs like it was literally like I did leg day 
the day before when I didn't. I don't understand why that happened. Let me know if that's ever happened to you. Oh, also, in my first trimester, my hair was literally turning pink and it stopped turning pink after we found out the gender. And I literally think it was my body's way of like telling me like, hey, you're having a girl. Cause like my hair was so, so pink. Like it was pink and orange and I don't understand why. But when I did find out I was pregnant, I told my mom, I told my best friends right away. And I told my boyfriend right away. I found out when I was four weeks. Then at five weeks, we told my boyfriend's family. And then I had to hide it from my dad, I think until like six, six or seven weeks. We... <laughs> ended up getting engaged before we told my dad just because my dad is just very traditional and so we hid it from my dad for that long that was so hard that was so incredibly hard and then i told my whole family on christmas just because i wasn't drinking and then at nine weeks we announced on social media i know you're supposed to wait until like you're at least out of your first trimester but i like i literally could not contain my excitement i wanted to shout it from the rooftops i could not i cannot keep a secret yeah, that is <laughs> my first trimester recap. My second trimester. Second trimester is when I started to feel normal again. I immediately got my energy back. And honestly, the only symptoms I had in my second trimester were my fingers and feet swelling. I literally can't even get my engagement ring on my finger. That's how swollen my fingers are. And my boobs started leaking colostrum. I also started to feel her kick at 19 weeks. Oh, another second trimester symptom that I'm having is pregnancy depression. Um, nobody really talks about pregnancy depression, but it's just something that I'm really struggling with and having a hard time with. I just have anxiety over the smallest things. I'm sad for no reason. But yeah, I'm struggling. Some days are definitely better than others. Yeah, nobody really talks about that and it's a thing. But yeah, my second trimester was a breeze. We did get our anatomy scan um, during our second trimester and she is in the 10th percentile. I was a small baby and so was my fiance. So I'm not too concerned. I go back to get another like growth ultrasound in a few days. So hopefully she has grown, but other than that, I'm not really concerned just because I was a really small baby and so was my fiance. But yeah, those were my first and second trimester symptoms. Now, we all know that we are dealing with the coronavirus right now, and oh my god, I am so, so incredibly over it. I thought my first pregnancy was going to be completely different than what it is now. I had all these fun things planned that I wanted to do, and now I can't do it because of coronavirus and everything is shut down right now. I really want to go to TJ Maxx to pick up things for her nursery, and I can't. I can't go to the mall to get cute outfits for her. I'm not sure if I will be able to have a shower. We're still planning for it, but hopefully if things start reopening back up and we're allowed to have like more than 25 people in a gathering, then we will have my baby shower. But like right now we're just playing it by ear. I'm just stressing out because I'm already in my third trimester and I have nothing for her. And she's literally due in two months. Another thing I want to talk about is weight gain. <laughs> <laughs> when I first got pregnant, I weighed 123 pounds. My last doctor's appointment is how much your girl weighed. I weigh 160 pounds now. I know I shouldn't beat myself up for that, but like I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm going on walks every day. I'm trying to work out every day, but sometimes that's just not the reality. I'm gaining a lot of weight in my thighs. I have so much cellulite on my thighs. You guys, it's driving me crazy. I just like can't wait until after I give birth so I can start working on my postpartum body. That's like what I'm most excited for besides seeing my little girl and meeting her. But I'm really excited for that to be able to start like really working out again and like going hard but yeah i'm trying not to beat myself up over my weight gain but it's just it's hard not to <laughs> um but if there's any moms that are watching this please give me some advice because that would be great i literally feel so unprepared for my baby i am kind of freaking out a little bit so yeah any advice you guys can give me would be amazing yeah but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed
enjoyed this video, please comment down below what you would like to see next and like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.